So you may have seen in a recent video that I purchased the Chi Ching Meng Plus. It is a non-magnetic cube by Chi. And to be honest, I don't have a lot of non-magnetic cubes in my collection. Um, mainly because, as you can see, when you execute a lot of the algs, um, there is a lot of slippage of these first two layers. And this cube is so physically big, I can't hold them like I normally would. So uh, we're going to fix that non-magnetic problem. Hello, magnets. So I do have some experience magnetizing cubes. These are both Yushin Little Magics that I magnetize using weak and strong magnets from the cubicle. So this white Yushin Little Magic has been magnetized using weaker magnets. I prefer that. Um, I just find the stronger magnets a bit too strong. This is the black Yushin Little Magic stickered. I have restickered it with uh, full fitted stickers as you can see from here. This has been magnetized with stronger magnets, which is still good, but they're just probably a touch too strong for me. I do prefer sort of medium magnets, but it's still really good. So the first step here is to take apart your cube. Start by removing the center caps from all sides, and then you want to use a small screwdriver to unscrew each of these center screws and take your cube apart. Pull apart each of the edge and corner pieces into the parts that make them up, and if you're like me, you'll then arrange them in two colors. I've also placed the screws on blue tack so that I don't lose them. The next step is to place the magnets. I've put a sticker at one end so I know which end is the one I'm working against. This will ensure that your magnets face the correct direction and attract to each other. You put one on the inside and one on the outside of each edge piece. We're going to glue the one on the inside using the polyurethane glue that came in the kit and then we let that glue cure for a few minutes. While that's curing, I'm going to lube my core with some lubricant black and screw each of the center pieces back into the core and then wipe it down because it gets very messy. Now we're going to take that magnet we didn't glue down, stick it to the edge piece to the corner piece like so to make sure the positioning is correct and then we're going to put some glue on the magnet inside the corner piece and again allow these to cure for some time. Place all the pieces back together in the correct arrangement. I use another puzzle to help me out. And then I rearrange all my pieces back onto my core, starting from the yellow side and working my way up. It's also at this point I place some lubricant on the inside pieces that have contact. And then I put all my pieces back onto my cube and I break it in. Here I'm tensioning the cube so it's not too tight and adding some additional silk and mystic to make sure my puzzle's nice and smooth and flush. And then I got lube on the outside, so I had to wipe it down. Did a few soles. Did notice a change in the stability of the puzzle. I did a few soles and could definitely feel an improvement of the turning of the puzzle. The layers aligned much better and I found myself slipping a lot less on my soles. And M slices are still hard, but I don't think that's because I put magnets in it. I think that's just the way the cube is, and there's not a lot magnets can do about that. But I definitely recommend putting magnets if you want to use this on a regular basis, because it certainly did help improve the quality of my solve and made sure that the layers did not slip as often. So if you intend to magnetize the Chi Yi Ching Meng Plus, I definitely feel like strong magnets are the way to go. You can definitely feel a slight bump. Any light on you definitely wouldn't feel it. The plastic's just too thick and the magnets would be too far apart. Now I do have one gripe when it comes to the Chi Yi Ching Man Plus. My cube cover, which is a bit small, doesn't fit it. And I'm not sure if any bigger cube covers will fit it. If they do, let me know in the comments below. I had troubles. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram at PandaCuba and subscribe to get notified when new videos come out. Thanks for stopping by. Stay safe.